So it's really fantastic to have Malaika Kagodi with us today. I'm really excited to see how this recovery conversation unfolds. And I think it, we just put it on one day in the kitchen. I was like, oh, this is this is so cool. This is amazing. And I actually ended up um, like getting dreadlocks <laughs> because out, out of like just listening to Bob Marley and looking at uh, looking at the album artwork in the yeah. CD. Maybe we can channel this musicality that I really love, but I'm not that great at into into poetry and into performing and making my own way onto the stage. I think there's that sort of slight division in the world where you've got sort of, you know, uh, lyricists, songwriters, you know, musicians there over there and poets over there. And I think people forget that it's all sort of, it's from the written word and they're all first and foremost poets. What I love about that line and about this poem is this kind of watching of yourself. And I don't think anyone really likes to admit to how much they think of how they are perceived and how they perceive themselves and the, the, the gap, sometimes a massive gulf between who you are to other people and who you feel that you are in your head. It's always something that I think throughout our lives we're trying to reckon with. And I think as you get older, sometimes that gap closes a bit and you can feel like you're yourself, but then something will happen to widen that gap again. I think although it was this horrible thing that we all had to go through, in some ways it's made us really reflect on the importance of those like fleeting connections we have with strangers and that warmth that you can feel for yourself when you have one of those connections you know we've always I think all of us have had <clears throat> an experience where we've been kind in a way that we weren't expecting to be but that opportunity just arose and we took it and I think it's really uh it's really nice to be able to congratulate congratulate yourself on that a little bit and and just treasure those little tiny moments that you have between people because I think we all are aware now of how special they are and how they're a little gift, a little everyday gift. Mm. That's a really beautiful way of looking at it actually just to have that because it does, it is a feeling isn't it, it's a feeling of warmth and just that oh yeah this is this is what it is to be human. If this is becoming more common, this is affecting more and more people, what does it take for us to stop treating it as an outlier and realise that this is a an epidemic you know this is something that's coming through and affecting so many people and just because they're not in the, the main cities like capital city or whatever doesn't mean that it's less important you and i both know how how deep this can go and how difficult it is to get out of it once once we're in it <laughs>